Hi, my name is Mark, and today we're going to talk about corporate actions. A trading strategy is impacted by more than just changes in stock price. Dividends and other corporate actions will also impact the securities your strategy invests in, so it's important to consider them in the research process. Corporate actions will not only impact the performance of your strategy, but in some cases they'll also require an adjustment to the price history that you use in the research process. Our platform makes these adjustments for you automatically, making it easy for you to pull the full price history for a given asset. This three video series will talk about these concepts in more detail to help you understand what corporate actions are and how our platform supports them. Today we're going to talk about dividends, the most common type of corporate action. But before we talk about what a dividend is, let's talk about what we mean by the term corporate action. The term corporate action refers to any event carried out by a company and approved by its board of directors and in some cases shareholders that impact the securities issued by that company. Corporate actions can be something as simple as a name change or something more complicated such as a merger or acquisition. Corporate actions can also include dividends, stock splits, and tender offers. Corporate actions are either mandatory or voluntary. Mandatory actions will impact all securities issued by that company whereas a voluntary action will only impact shares that are held by shareholders who choose to be part of the action. Mandatory events will primarily be the subject of this video series, since those are more likely to impact you as you're developing a strategy. However, we'll also cover voluntary actions, since they're likely to impact you if you hold securities in a portfolio. Let's start by talking about dividends, the most common type of action. A cash dividend is the most common corporate action and describes a cash payment to shareholders representing a distribution of profits. Typically, a company that is not actively reinvesting profits into its business will start making regular payments to investors in the form of a dividend. Dividends are declared by the board of directors and for each dividend there are several important dates to keep in mind. The first date is the declaration or announcement date. This is the date that the Board of Directors declares its intention to pay the dividend to shareholders and the public. On the declaration date, the company becomes obligated to pay the dividend and will record a liability on its balance sheet. Next is the record date. On the record date, all shareholders who are listed as owners of the stock on the company's shareholder register will be entitled to receive the dividend. The company's shareholder register is updated after a purchase or sale of the security settles, which in the U.S. occurs two business days after the transaction occurs. For this reason, another important date, and the one more commonly used in finance, is the ex-dividend date. This date describes the first day on which a buyer of the stock is no longer entitled to receive the dividend. For example, let's assume a company declares a dividend with a record date of Friday, August 9th. In this case, in order to be a registered owner of the stock, an investor must purchase shares in the market prior to the close of trading on Wednesday, August 7th. Therefore, for this dividend, Thursday, August 8th is considered the ex-dividend date. The final date is the payment date. The payment date is the date on which the company actually pays the dividend to each shareholder. In addition to a cash dividend, companies can also issue stock dividends. In a stock dividend, instead of cash, the company pays additional shares of stock to each shareholder. Stock dividends are typically expressed as a percentage, so a 5% stock dividend will pay new shares at a rate of 5%. For example, an investor who owns 100 shares will receive 5 new shares as a result of the stock dividend. Stock dividends follow the same date sequence described earlier for cash dividends. Dividends not only directly impact your strategy when earned, but they are also important to consider because of the potential impact they can have on the price of the stock. After a cash dividend is paid, the company has less value because of the cash that has been paid out. Because it has the same number of shares outstanding, its stock price should decrease. In a stock dividend, the company has the same value, but a greater number of shares outstanding, so its stock price should also decrease. However, these are theoretical price movements. Market forces tend to alter this theoretical price impact. For example, if stockholders are excited by the prospect of receiving the dividend, they might buy the stock when the dividend is announced, which might increase the price of the stock. 
This increase in price might partially mitigate the theoretical drop in price that is expected to occur on the X date. However, the impact that a stock dividend has on price is something we'll cover later in this video series, as stock dividends will require an adjustment to price history in order for us to conduct research. That concludes our discussion of dividends. Thanks for watching, and we will highlight more corporate actions in our next video.